Planet Dolan. From what the first dinosaur was to how snails got their shells, we answer some of your most wonderful questions about life. Hey there, my name is Doopy, and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. Cephas Red asks. When was ice cream invented, and who made it first? Someone threw a tub of rancid milk into a washing machine and set it to the highest cycle. What came out wasn't edible, so he doused it in butter and froze it until it became a delicious snack. As for who made it first, I don't know, but they were probably stupid. The invention of ice cream is not credited to any individual, but its origins date back to 200 BC with the Chinese dish made from rice and milk that was frozen in the snow. Ice cream, similar to what we have now, dates back to the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907. It was made with buffalo milk, flour, and camphor. Nintendoosh Production asks, who was the first celebrity on Earth? That was Robo. She was the very first walkin' talkin' synthetic intelligent robot humanity ever created. Unfortunately, she doesn't like anyone, including you. And if you try and give her gifts for her birthday, she'll try and stab you with a tiny knife. It would be adorable if it weren't so homicidal. It's almost impossible to name an individual, but the ancient Greek Olympians would have been considered celebrities. They were worshipped and revered like gods. The difference being that their fame could only be spread via word of mouth. So widespread celebrity as we know it today did not happen until the invention of printing. Oh, you're such a cutie! I love your little antenna! I'll kill you. And I'll kill your whole family. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm. Oh my gosh, she likes my antenna. Ian Hayes asks, what was the first religion, and is it still practiced? The religion of True God is highly renowned as being the first. The only problem is you can't bring it up in conversation without everyone getting angry. True God? Christianity is best religion. Nuh-uh, Islam was first. Yo, Hinduism is where it's at. Spaghetti monster! There are traces of small prehistoric religious practices, but historians cannot confirm any of them as being the first religion. Hinduism, however, is considered the oldest religion and is still practiced today. It began in northern India more than 5,000 years ago and is still the third largest religion in the world. Fireclaw789 asks, what was the first dinosaur discovered? It wasn't the T-Rex. It wasn't even the Tyrannosaurus Dolan. It was the Egoraptor. Um, did you just hear the name Egoraptor and assume it was a dinosaur? Shh! Just because you descended from the doer of a dinos, the derpy doer of a dino doo. Fossils were discovered in the 4th century in China, although they were attributed to a dragon, so it's not known what dinosaur they likely belonged to. The first dinosaur fossils to be scientifically confirmed belonged to the Megalosaurus, and were discovered in 1819 by William Buckland. The Megalosaurus was a large, meat-eating dinosaur. Jack Filens 234 asks, how did humans find plutonium? We threw a tub of rancid milk into a washing machine and set it to a medium cycle. I know, it's very easy to confuse ice cream with plutonium, but the key thing is to take a bite. And if you die instantly, that means you did it properly. The scientists that first discovered plutonium were trying to split atoms through a process called deuteron bombardment to find ways of creating nuclear bombs. This occurs in a reactor when uranium atoms absorb neutrons. The discovery occurred in 1940, but was kept a secret until after World War II. Topic Swampert asks, How did humans decide on north, east, south, and west as directions? We discovered a compass! That thing helped us out a ton! Humans did not decide on the directions, as it is the Earth's rotation that determines what's north. The star Polaris appears in the night sky in the same spot all night every night and is the indicator for true north. Earth has a magnetic field that runs from north to south, and so compasses will always point north. The names themselves are Germanic in origin, dating back to 400 to 800 AD. Travrenity asks, What is the similarity and difference between a black hole and wormhole? 
Oh wow, didn't we already answer a very similar question? What was that video? Fortunately, only worms can fit through them. Whereas black holes are indeed big enough to fit humans, but we can't find them. Man, we just can't find them. And we still can't find them. Ugh. A black hole is formed when a supermassive star collapses in on itself. It creates its own gravitational pull from which light cannot escape. Wormholes, on the other hand, are only theoretical and are tunnels that connect two points in space-time. In theory, one might be able to travel through a wormhole, but nothing can escape a black hole once it's past the event horizon. We already answered this, though. Well, maybe I wanted to give my thoughts on the topic. Consider that. Well, I liked Shima's answer better. Don't make me set my dinosaur on you again. <laughs> I'll be good. Spoon DSA asks, how do snails get their shells? They earn it. When they get a hundred consecutive sniper kills, they earn an achievement that unlocks shells as a permanent addition to their arsenal. It comes loaded with extra ammunition, med kits, radio equipment, and a little bed. If you see a snail rolling around in a mini tank shell, you better watch out! He's a vet. Snails are born with shells that are soft and colorless when they first emerge from their egg. Over time, the shell expands and hardens. In fact, the center swirl of a snail's shell is the original shell that the snail was born with. Dude, be careful! He's got you in his sights! He got you! Doopy! <coughs> he, um, he, he got you. Oh, oh! Ah, oh, you killed me! How could you? Uh, that was a great shot, and I'm dead. Bleh. Victory! Dragon Eye Creations asks, What is the oldest piece of literature? The End User License Agreement. You can tell it's an old piece of writing because whoever wrote it was a senile grandpa who put down the biggest rambling nonsense that we're still trying to decipher thousands of years later. We keep using it in contracts because we're pretty sure it's important. The Kesh Temple Hymn and Instructions of Shurapak are both from around 2500 BC. The first is an ode and the second is a piece of ancient wisdom. The first work of fiction is the Epic of Gilgamesh from around 2100 BC. Each of these works are from the Sumerian civilization of ancient Mesopotamia, inventors of the first writing system. Vivian Sprague asks, why does the sky change color at sunrise and sunset? This doesn't always happen, but when it does and a red sun rises, it means blood has been spilled this night. The only problem is we don't know who's. We do have one suspect though, but where did she go? Hmm. The light doesn't actually change color, but appears to as it takes longer to reach our eyes when the sun is almost over the horizon. This is due to the scattering of light, which is where molecules and small particles in the atmosphere change the direction of light. The blues that we usually see during the day have scattered, leaving colors with longer wavelengths such as yellow and red. Doopy. Have you by chance seen Emoji, Gooby, Shima, Snoopy, My Brother, Pandora, Melissa, Kyle, Hellbent, Andy, Tollop, Ghost, Toast, Ladybot, Nixie, and Pringle, Slapped Hand, Commando, and Sidious lately? I think so. They said something about napping in a big pile earlier. Well, and we didn't get an invite. Bunch of scumbags. Oh well. Video's over. I'm gonna go lie down and lower my defenses for a bit. I'll leave the door unlocked in case anyone wants to come visit later. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one!